Hi everyone, welcome back to Besame. So today I wanted to sing one of my most favorite Bob Marley songs, keeping with the tradition of African Heritage Month and also because it would have been his birthday today, he would have been 76. So I searched the internet high and low for chords to learn to play the song, but I couldn't manage those chords. My head is a little bit hard. <laughs> So I had to make up my own easy ukulele chords for this. I hope you like it. If you do, please remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel before. Also, I'm calling all people of African descent especially to watch to the end. I have a message for you there. I think you will like it. If you do, please Leave me a comment in the section below. Thank you. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery None but ourselves can free our mind Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and look Who some say it's just a part of it We've got to fulfill the book Won't you help to sing The song of freedom Cause all I ever had Redemption song Redemption song Redemption song Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery None but ourselves can free our mind Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and look Yes, some say it's just a part of it We've got to fulfill the book won't you help to sing the song of freedom? Cause all I ever had, redemption song. All I ever had, redemption song. These songs of freedom, songs of freedom. And this song is richly saturated with black heritage, black history, and black pride. And while we have to remind many that black lives matter, this song proves that it does. So the first verse talks about our African ancestors, how they were kidnapped and chained in dungeons, and then they were sold to slave ships to be taken to the new world. But we came into this generation triumphantly. And the second verse talks about how we should emancipate ourselves from mental slavery because none but us can free our minds. So while we can be shackled, our minds can be free. And that song was inspired by 
another great Jamaican, Marcus Garvey, one of our Jamaican national heroes. He delivered a speech here in Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada in 1937. And he died soon after, but it was like he was in a sprint relay and he passed that baton and Bob Marley picked it up with redemption song. So we too have to continue that tradition. Black people, we should. In fact, we must teach our children our history from enslavement to emancipation and beyond. Tell them that while our history is dark, our future is bright because we are descendants of the best, the brightest, the strongest, the smartest, most resilient enslaved Africans. The weak perished. They died along the Middle Passage. They died under the hard labor. Some died while being beaten or scourged by their slave masters. Some died from New World diseases. Some even died while in pursuit of freedom. But the strong ones, our ancestors, not only survived, but they thrived, which is how we are still here. And without us, the new world would not have become what it is today. We have a right to be here. Continue fighting for physical and mental freedom, black people. Black lives do matter. Teach that to your children as I start with mine. Come. Won't you help to sing the songs of freedom? Cause all I ever had redemption song. Songs of freedom. One love.